For these three easy Easter Dollar Tree DIYs, I knew I had to head straight to my local Dollar Tree for the supplies. And boom, there it was. That was what I came for, the Easter Bunny wreath form. So I don't know if you've seen these guys, but these are so adorable. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, we have got to use the nautical rope on one of these bunny wreaths. So I took the wreath and uh, the rope, sorry, and I glued it to one of the straight edges. And then I wrapped it around once the long way. And then I added a little extra hot glue just to ensure that this was not gonna go anywhere. And this is how you start your bunny wreath using the nautical rope. So if you pay attention closely, the first um, wrap is the long one. The second one is the short one. So I just wrap it around the outside edge and then the entire form on the second one. I repeat this process over and over all the way around the entire Easter Bunny wreath form. Super easy process and it creates the prettiest little pattern here. So you see I'm repeating a short wrap on the outside edge of the frame followed by a wrap around the entire piece. Now I got to the nether straight away and I just made sure that was one of the long wraps and then followed by one of the little short wraps. This is a little bit of slow motion for us who need it. Long followed by a short wrap. And then I got right here to the perfect little edge and that's where I'm gonna use a little dot of hot glue just to keep this end of the rope in place. Now this is a really similar pattern to the one that I used on my heart shape wreath that uh, seemed to be super popular with everyone. I'll link that wreath uh, here in the video as well as at the description. So it took two and a half, um, I guess, skeins of this rope. And then this is how I'm starting the second one here. Again, it was on the straight way, just adding the hot glue pressing it down right where that rope starts from the back. And I had ended with a long, so I went back with a short. And then for the bunny ears, I just straddled it around the ears. If you have not already sub subscribed to my channel, I'm seeing the reminder there above to hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button. I super would appreciate it. But yeah, you just continue this pattern, the short and the long all the way around this entire frame. And again, I'm just straddling the bunny ears as you get to them. You see, I didn't do any short ones in between. I just did two long ones and I started back with the short right after I passed through those bunny ears. And I went back with a long one and a short one and then on the other side of the bunny ear, I'll go back with another long one. So this is a really super easy project. This probably took me about 10 minutes to put together, but anyone can do this. Wrap it around the entire wreath form. When you get to the end, you're gonna hot glue it down. Right there, I had a short one, hot glued it down and snipped off the back with a pair of scissors. Bada bing, bada boom, we have our adorable looking wreath oh and then i was like how am i going to cover the ears well i could have wrapped it around and around and around but it was going to use way too much rope so instead i decided to just glue a straight piece of rope over the wreath form using it as a guide And then when I got to the end, I just glued it down into the wreath form there between the ropes that I already had in place. And again, I started it the same way, working my way around the bunny ears all the way down. I glued it down first right there in between, and then I'm gonna trim it with the scissors and wow, 
It is so awesome. I absolutely love the way this wreath turns out. And now here comes the fun part. You can decorate it however your heart desires. I happen to really be obsessed with Buffalo Check. You may or may not be. I do have a free Buffalo Check group on Facebook that I will link in the description below if you want to join us over there. But um, yeah, then I just cut out the shape of the ears of the scrap fabric that happens to be in a black and white Buffalo Check uh, pattern and again you could go with spring colors you could go with neutrals I just went with this buffalo check so once you get your um, little ear patterns cut out you're just going to use that hot glue again to adhere these to the back side of your bunny ears doesn't matter does not have to be perfect we are going to trim these up so that you'll never know they were such a mess on the back going to make them a little bit tighter there and trim the edges so that they look like they were meant to be. Now once you get your uh, bunny wreath to this part you can embellish it. So I took some boxwood, some faux boxwood and some polka dot ribbon and made a little zip tie bow here that I'm just gonna hot glue right there between the ears. You could make a huge bow, um, or, but I decided to go with this little tiny statement bow and add a little piece of bling. What do you think? How do you think it turned out? I absolutely love the way this wreath looks. You could put this just about anywhere in your Easter decor and love it. All right, project number two, you're gonna take a wire coat hanger. Now this might be the hardest part of this project is finding an actual old fashioned wire coat hanger, but we're gonna open up the little mouth part and then snip the coat hanger in half using your wire cutters, form each half into a bunny shaped ear. And then using our pliers, we're gonna kind of um, tuck it around the other side so that it it secures it. I'm going to repeat it on both sides till we get our little bunny ears that are matching. I was like, we can make bunny ears. That was my thought. And of course, here we go. I was like, what do we need? What do we need? Well, we need some wire. How about a coat hanger? And that worked out perfectly. So then I grabbed some nautical rope. Again, uh, these projects all three took nautical rope and then I hot glued it like we did on the bunny wreath form from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna make our own ears. So this looks familiar. This is the same thing we did to the wire wreath form, but just now we're doing it with a wire coat hanger that we've made into bunny ears. You're gonna repeat that on both halves, cutting it off when you end with the rope and gluing that down. And boom, they're so cute. Now here you can either leave them empty or you can fill them with um, a pattern. And of course, I had to use a pattern and I used leopard, which is what I consider my other favorite neutral. Um, and then I just cut out the bunny ear shapes like we did previously. And we are going to do the exact same process where we trace on the back, get it how we want it cut these out, glue them down, and have really cute DIY bunny ears. And these are gonna be bunny ears that you can use on so many projects. I'm thinking you could use these on a gift bag, on a gift package, on a flower arrangement, um, any piece of decor that you want. Again, this part does not have to be perfect because as you saw before, we are gonna trim them up to where they look like they were made specifically for these particular bunny ears. Just gonna use our hot glue gun, add the leopard print material to the back. 
I think it'd be even fun to use some sort of cute like Sherpa material behind here where um, they're, they look kind of fuzzy inside. I think that would be precious. And then we're just gonna trim them up again. This part is just what kind of makes them look like they were made this way. No DIY here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. I unfortunately cracked myself up. So this is just a flower pot from the Dollar Tree. I'm adding a magnolia stencil. I will link those below in the description. And I put a little chalk paste on here with this cute Hello Spring design. And I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun really quickly just to make sure we don't knock off this um, chalk paste while we're finishing out the project. Then I put a floral block in here. This is just a styrofoam block from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna poke my brand new rabbit ears inside of the styrofoam. Then I grabbed these uh, farmhouse colored Easter eggs. You can find these online. I'll link some below um, or you can make them. You can make these however you want whatever Easter eggs you want to put in the bucket, or you don't have to, you could totally use some Spanish moss in there. I thought that would be a cute idea as well. And then once I got all of the eggs kind of, oh, arranged and hot glued down, I decided to add a little bit of that faux boxwood greenery in there. And ultimately I ended up gluing it down as well. I'm taking another piece of this. This is actually just an old pillowcase is how I'm using this scrap leopard fabric to make a really easy just fabric bow with a zip tie just kind of folded it in a bow shape zip tied it in the middle fluffed it out and then i'm going to trim the back of the zip tie off after i trim the bow it's like kind of like a double layer bow there and there's the trimming of the zip tie hot glue it to the front of our centerpiece arrangement and what do you think i absolutely thought this was adorable again you can use these bunny ears anywhere in your decor i just have them here in a centerpiece so our easter diy number three is using a dollar tree pizza pan so this is from a project that i did last fall super easy super fun but i didn't want you to miss this part of the um, technique so you're just going to hot glue again your nautical rope around and around and around on the front of a pizza pan. Super easy, super fun, but I thought you would maybe wanna see this process. So you can use this design on just about any DIY that you want is, and you'll start with this really cute kind of almost macrame looking um, nautical rope pizza pan. It's almost like a charger, like a huge coaster or something that you were putting together, I don't know. This did take about two and a half, um, again, I don't know what to call them, I guess skeins of nautical rope from Dollar Tree to cover the entire pizza pan. But all in all, all three of these projects are super budget friendly and super affordable. Just using the last little bit of the spare rope there gluing it all down. Now that you have that together, I'm taking this Dollar Tree. Oh, it's just a whimsical little fun rainbow beaded garland. And since it's already all put together, it was super easy to add this as my embellishment for around the uh, pizza pan. So just cut off and saved that little tassel there. It did take two of these uh, wood bead garlands, but again, they worked so well and they're so much easier than adding individual beads that uh, I absolutely love using these garlands as a little cheat way. Um, so then I took again that leopard material that I'm falling in love with and made a little messy bow. So if you've never seen my messy bows, I will link them in the description below. I am actually known for those. They're my signature bow. You're just going to cut little one, a one half inch strips um, and there's no rhyme or reason. You just tear them put them in a circular motion, and then you're gonna take a zip tie and zip them all together from the underneath, and you have the cutest, most simple little bow. I'm gonna trim that off, 
cup it up like a bouquet, trim the top of it, and that's the mess. That's where you get messy bow. I'm gonna glue this to the center of our pizza pan like a little bunny butt. How stinking cute is that? It's a little bunny butt. So then I repurposed my bunny ears. Like I said, you could use these in any project. I put them on the back and boom, this is our bunny decor. What do you think? I thought it's so adorable. If you love videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.